Let's go to the next stage then in my mind, and that is the issue of what is the current status of the Senate? You hear these things that the, the Senate is not properly constituted, the House isn't going to cooperate with the Senate, somebody is going to uh, take a case to court saying we don't like the bill they passed and it wasn't appropriate. Um, how do you help us understand that set of issues? The Senate has passed its own rules, which the Constitution clearly says it has the ability to do. It also has defined the officers of the Senate, which the Constitution clearly says it has the ability to do. It chose to, in addition to electing the Senate President, have the body elect the acting Senate President. So from the, in the minds of the, of the Senators, we had a chance to elect the individual who would be running the Senate on a day-to-day -day basis while um, the Senate President was performing the duties of government. So we, we are comfortable with the situation. As of last week, uh, on the 30th or 31st day, we now have joint rules. So we have the Senate rules in place, which we've had for some time. We now have the joint rules between the House and the Senate in place. We are, you know, a functioning legislative body. There's been a lot of talk from day one about going to the Supreme Court with a friendly petition so they tell us if we're okay. And for whatever reason, the current leadership of the Senate seems just adamant that they, they're not going to do that. And it's almost, uh, in fact, uh, Senator Kessler has almost become angry when this issue has been raised. And uh, we keep hearing that uh, there's different individuals going to petition the court, but now, as you say, we're in day 33, and that, that ship may sell if they don't act quickly. So I, I would think if there's a legal challenge, it'll be someone uh, challenging a piece of legislation that was passed this year and saying, well, we're not bound by this because the, the Senate was unconstitutionally configured. 